Welcome to another 5 minute review. Uh, I'll be doing the new leather collection from Maybelline and I just picked these up earlier this week and I'm really enjoying them. The mascara in particular is excellent. I'm wearing it today and it hasn't overtaken my holy grail mascara, the Lash Sensational one, so from Maybelline. But it's pretty close. It's not as defining as the Lash Sensational mascara. But it does give me a little more volume, so I'm sort of... Uh, it's a really close second, and that's really saying something. The mascara from the collection is called the Colossal Go Extreme Volume Express in Leather Black. I think it's only available in black. I'm not entirely sure on that one, but I've only seen it in black. I do find the wand really easy to handle, even when my hands are really bad. You can see I've got my ring splints on. Um, I haven't been able to wear them for a while because my hands have been too swollen and, you know, with the heat here and all that kind of stuff, so it's nice to be able to wear them again. The wand is enormous, by the way. It's like the size of my eye. It's freaking huge. <laughs> But surprisingly, I didn't find it difficult to use, and I didn't make a mess with it. I actually made less of a mess with this one than I usually do with my Holy Grail mascara, and that one I find really easy to use. But, I mean, just with my hands the way they are, I always make a mess with mascara. It's just kind of one of those things. There are even times when, if my hand's really bad, I'll put my mascara on first, and then do everything else around it, and then sort of just go over it very carefully afterwards to cover up any eyeshadow that's gotten, my, gotten on my lashes or anything like that. Yeah, the fact that I don't make a colossal mess with... colossal... The fact that I don't make an epic mess with this one is really saying something. Don't let the size of the brush put you off. When you look at the wand, it does look kind of grey. Just a little bit. Which did kind of put me off at first, but when you actually apply it, it looks jet black. And I also like that it doesn't go glossy on me, so I tend to prefer matte mascaras because I find if I have a glossy mascara, because I wear a lot of glittery eyeshadows and stuff like that, it sort of all blurs together. You know, if I have a matte mascara, it makes my eyelashes stand out more against the backdrop of a glittery eyeshadow on my lids. That's another thing I really like about this one. It holds well even on my really watery eyes. And I haven't had any problems with flaking either, so yeah, definitely recommend trying this one out. As I said, it isn't as defining as my Lash Sensational Mascara. There is a little bit of clumpiness, but not anything like the uh, Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced, for example. It's nowhere near that level. If you put on like three layers, you start to get that spidery effect. So I'm sticking two layers with this one. I also grabbed the Maybelline Master Liner in black. That's the one that they use in the advert for this collection. It's not technically part of the collection because it's not a, you know, leather look product. But, you know, since they use it in the ad, I figured I'd try it out along with the others because obviously that's what they're recommending that you use. It does have a really nice matte finish, so it goes really well with the other products in the collection. I can see why they recommend that you use it. And the tip is really fine, but it isn't excessively creamy, so it's not going to transfer, and it does set really nicely. It also goes on really smoothly. I didn't find I had to smudge it in order to get the line to look, you know, completely smooth. So that was awesome, but I did have to go over a few times. So I found myself sort of going back and forth over the line on my lower lash line. But the end result was really good. This one's definitely worth trying out. The last one in the collection is the uh, new range of Color Tattoo Cream Eyeshadows. These are the Color Tattoo 24 Hour Leather by Eyestone. Yeah, by Eye Studio Cream Shadows. The one I got is Creamy Beige number 80. really like this. It's a great eyeshadow base if you're using sort of neutral brown tone shadows. And I've even worn this just on its own with a slightly darker shade in the crease. And it looks fantastic. It's just dark enough that it shows up on my skin tone. Here you can see a swatch of what it looks like just on my skin in a, a straight line. So you can build it up to that kind of opacity. But then if you blend it out, it shears out quite a bit. So there you can see what I mean. It's just nicely darker than my skin tone. You can imagine that just sort of blended up slightly above the crease with a, <laughs> with a slightly darker shade in the actual crease. 
it's just a really nice easy look. These also are completely matte of course so you really can put any kind of eyeshadow over the top and they do wear really well. If you use these as an eyeshadow base, which I have a few times, and I'm wearing it as an eyeshadow base now with no kind of primer underneath, they really extend the lifespan of your eyeshadows. Like, this will stay on all day. You know, if you put it on first thing in the morning, it'll still be there just the same when you take it off at night. So I find these ones extend the wear of my eyeshadows even better than the other colour tattoo cream shadows that I've used previously. And I've also found that you can build it up fairly well without it creasing during the day, which is a problem that I've had with other shades in the colour tattoo range, you know, previous shades. These are excellent. So yeah, that's my take on the leather collection from uh, Maybelline, the leather eye collection. So if you have any questions, please put them in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. And my regular uploading day is going to be Thursdays from this point onwards because I'm back in uni. I hope you guys are having an awesome week. Keep on being your gorgeous, awesome, chronically fabulous selves. And I shall see you in my next video. See ya!